Yeah, greetings from the Ho Elephant Institute. So we are by the side of the water and this is UW campus. And that is Mount Rainier in the background. And I just got here. So yeah, it's a significant time in history and can to you dub and after all these uh, weeks from July 18th to September the 6th 2022 I think the journey has brought me back to UW campus and uh, connect with my scholarly side and before I left the office, I was looking at uh, Dr. Wang's uh, data on, uh, you know, uh, presenting Dr. Lili Feng's observation on the impact of practicing Falun Dafa to the human immune system. Quite a lot of important information really need to be organized and uh, published and uh, uh, inform the general public about the most important discovery. I think the most important scientific discovery of this time if people really can't understand what i understand from those data i think a lot a lot of lives will be saved yeah dr lily fan made some so incredible observations about the impact of an ancient cultivation way called falun dafa um, on the human immune system yeah, a lot of times people, they say, oh, you're a scientist, PhD doctor? Wow, what did you do? What have you discovered? Do we have a, a cure of cancer? So that was the question presented to me back in the year of 2002, springtime. And I, uh, at the time I was at the stage of Dr. Wang, and uh, started to put together what I understand, what I understood as uh, uh, Dr. Tong Wang Wang at the time. Uh, and I start to bring people, you know, to a bigger uh, vision regarding um, human body. And uh, Dr. Wang was enlightened to the truth that um, actually you know, our human body is uh, really not a molecular machine, but actually has um, this profound multi-layer, multi-dimensional feature. Multi-dimensional feature. Molecule is only one layer. And there are many, many layers. And all the way to the most microcosmic world. And the disease, the cause of it is not at the molecular level only. Molecular level has molecular level manifestation, but the root uh, of the disease can be at many different le levels. So the Chinese people talk about Bing uh, Ru Gao Huang. The disease has entered the dimension called the Gao and the Huang, which is referring to like the you know very microcosmic level. So when the disease enters the Gao and the Huang microcosmic world, even the most powerful doctor cannot bring their life uh, back. Okay, so um, system level diseases such as cancer, uh, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, uh, neurodegenerative disease, and all that, they all actually belong to system level disease. And I think those are the diseases that has roots in other dimensions that molecules manifest in many different systems uh, malfunctioning. And that's why it cannot be cured by modern molecular medicine. And it has to be readjusted. Um, and it has to be, uh, you know, uh, tackled um, with uh, the high tech that modern science cannot reach. And that high tech actually has something to do with uh, uh, spirituality, faith, miracles, divine words, and it gradually start to, you know, reveal to the mankind the true purpose of being a human. 
So the mysteries of, you know, why we are here in this, you know, molecular body and, uh, you know, what is really the purpose? Uh, why people has to go through birth, aging, sickness and death? Um, and so, you know, what's the meaning of all this, right? This cosmic drama manifesting at molecular level. Uh, what is the relationship of this, uh, you know, cosmic drama at the human world in the relationship of, um, with relationship of all the other life phenomena in the big universe? And uh, we started to, you know, encounter them and we cannot ignore them like the UFO, right? Aliens. And most importantly, throughout the history, we know about uh, gods, Buddha, Tao phenomena. You know, it's real. And uh, China is full of it. 5,000 years of Chinese history is full of it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, humanity can no longer ignore, ignore our true uh, identity, our spirit. And no molecule, no molecular biologist can dissect the spirit, right? Because spirit uh, is now totally excluded from molecular biology in every regard. Uh, because um, that's not the paradigm. But, you know, molecular phenomena actually are affected by human spirituality. And the falling on, the practice of falling on in every regard is, you know, starting to show the entire mankind this uh, uh, phenomena that through a lifestyle change, through following principles of truthfulness, compassion, forbearance, uh, to um, live in the human world. And uh, by following the guidance that's you know, uh, delivered through the book, Drawing Father and Turning the Law Wheel, uh, a man, a woman, can understand the superficial meaning to begin with of that book. And then by doing the right thing, following the superficial meaning of the book, uh, you know, things start to happen. The body start to be um, upgraded. And the cells start to be upgraded. And the molecules are upgraded. And they operate very differently from before. That is really, you know, uh, incredible. And the changes are actually upgraded in a system level. So it's really the solution for system disease. It's a systematic upgrading of the entire human body. And uh, it's a systematic, uh, you know, uh, empowering of the entire human body. Um, it really is something that I always for a long, long time and, uh, you know, wish that I can make things clear to the general public that I have seen something incredible and it has to be understood by the general public because that's the true fruit of the billions and billions of dollars of research um, that eventually allowed my brain to be able to elevate to a level that eventually allow me to, you know, understand uh, the truth. So I do believe that that billions and billions of dollars of research invested into modern, you know, uh, life science are preparing a lot of brains to be just like myself, to be able to one day understand this uh, incredible truth. Um, about true human life science. So I'm here at UW by the side of the water. The Chinese culture believe that scholars love water. So um, I guess I am a true scholar and I always love water. And my name now turning into celestial water, which means I'm a celestial scholar now. <laughs> celestial scholar <laughs> talking about the true uh, human life science. Um, I'm gonna come here and deliver my uh, important uh, scholarly work um, to the whole world. I think this is a perfect site. Uh, so here is the start today. Okay. Um, yep. See, I have arrived here. That's my water bottle over there, my purse, my yellow jacket by the rose garden. 
and uh, in the back this path goes all the way to the two big libraries uh, so yeah September 6 2022 UW campus from the whole elephant Institute dr. Lotus King wise former modern life science researcher's name is dr. Tang Wen Wang and I'm 18 years younger. <laughs>